One of the things many of you probably know about Musa alayhi salam is that he's the most mentioned messenger of Allah in the Quran. Allah Azza wa Jalla talks about him more than any other prophet by name. And Musa alayhi salam is one of his stellar qualities in the Quran is that there are many many du'as recorded from him in the Quran. And this is one of them. And this dua is particularly powerful. Musa alayhi salam, his story is mentioned in so many places and this particular ayah belongs to Surah Taha, the 20th surah. And in this surah, Allah Azza wa begins the narrative when he left his family and he saw a fire up on top of a mountain in the middle of the night. And he told his family to wait and to go see this fire. And when he gets up there, of course he discovers that Allah Azza wa is the one that's called him to it. Now in the course of that, that talk that Allah was giving him through the, through the fire, Allah Azza wa Jal told him to throw his, his stick, his staff, Al-Asa. Musa alayhi salam throws it and it turns into a hayya, into a running snake. A poisonous snake in old Arabic is also called a hayya. A snake whose fangs are out is also called a hayya. So it's running around, the snake is running around. And then he tells him, خُذْهَا وَلَا تَخَفْ Grab the snake, grab it and don't be afraid. Now you tell me as a normal human being, grabbing the snake and not being afraid. <laughs> you know, it's almost impossible. And yet Allah Azza wa Jal trained Musa alayhi salam to take this task on. To grab the snake and not be afraid. And at this point you notice Musa alayhi salam doesn't say, لا أستطيع يا ربي. I can't do it ya Rabb. No dua to Allah to say, ya Allah help me, he just does it. وَضْمُمْ يَدَكَ إِلَى جَنَاحِكْ تَخْرُجْ بَيْضَاءَ مِنْ غَيْرِ سُوءٍ Put your hand in your pocket, in your sleeve, you take it out, it's going to be white. Another miracle I'm giving to you. لِنُرِيَكَ مِنْ آيَاتِنَا الْكُبْرَى اِذْهَبْ إِلَى فِرْعَوْنِ إِنَّهُ طَغَى This is to show you from, a, my, from the greatest of my miracles, of, of our miracles, go to Fir'aun. He's rebelled. Now so far Allah has asked him for a few things, some pretty shocking things. He's asked him to grab a snake. He's asked him to, you know, he, his hand is changed in color entirely. But Musa alayhi salam has no reaction, he's fine to all of this. But when Allah tells him, go to Fir'aun, go to Fir'aun, he's the one in fact that is rebelled. At this point Musa alayhi salam makes dua. And so now we're learning that when Allah tells us to do something, and it's hard. Sometimes we think things are hard, but you know, if you have courage, Allah lets you do it. But you get to a point where you think even I, with all my courage, this is even too hard for me. That is the time you turn to Allah and you don't say, Ya Allah, I can't do it. You ask Allah for what you need so you can do it. So now, what does he ask? It's incredible. He's gonna go to Fir'aun. Fir'aun is up in the castle, in the most secure building in all of Egypt. So he doesn't, he can't hide. He has to go directly all the way to the doors of that White House back in the day. And he has to knock on the doors of security. And he has to say, I have an appointment with Fir'aun. And all of these police officers and all the security guard, what are their instructions? Kill him immediately. Kill him immediately. So I would expect that he would turn to Allah and say, Ya Rab, you want me to go talk to Fir'aun? Can you deal with his army? Can you put them all to sleep so I can go talk to him? Or can you pull him out of Egypt so I can talk with him over here? It might be safer for me. You know? Or can you just you know, magically fly me over there and I'll just end up in the castle and I can talk to him and my problem is solved. You want me to speak to him? I'll speak to him that way because I won't even get to him. Actually, in this dua, what he asks for is remarkable. He says, Awalan Rabbish Rahli Sadri. Ya Allah, my, my master, expand my chest. When he thinks about going to Fir'aun, all of these thoughts are going in his mind, and he's becoming nervous, he's becoming scared, he's becoming worried, am I going to be able to do this? Am I gonna get killed? Ya Allah, the first thing I need to do to fulfill your command is I need to calm down. There are times where I'll be afraid, there are times where I'll be angry, there are times where I might even get depressed because I see no results, these guys not changing. I might go through a score of negative emotions and Ya Allah, you need to give me something that will keep me emotionally stable and positive. And then he says, وَيَسِّرْ لِي أَمْرِي And Ya Allah, you make my mission easy for me. You make my mission easy for me. You're the one who gave me this mission. But as skilled as Musa alayhi salam is, and has, Allah's choice is perfect, 
When Allah chose Musa alayhi salam to take on Fir'aun and to challenge him, there is no better qualified candidate on the face of the earth at the time than Musa alayhi salam. So Allah knows what he's doing. He's right for the job. And now we're learning even if you're the most qualified to do a job, your qualifications, as good as they are, they are never enough. Allah has to make ease on his end. Allah will make ease on his end. And these two things have to come together. Musa alayhi salam has to make his effort. But his effort alone will not give victory. It will come when Allah makes the task easy.